Hey guys, welcome back to the 4000 series series. Uh, this one today we're looking at is the 4511 or the 4511. Uh, you can probably see that on the screen. We'll move this out of the way in a second. I just want to demo it first. Now this is a, it's a BCD to seven segment IC driver, but actually it is, um, it's a binary coded decimal. So that means that you have uh, these binary numbers that you throw in there. So it's four bit binary, which means you can have one, two, four, and eight. And that's a maximum of what, is that 15? Uh, but actually this will only count up to nine. So I've attached some buttons to it. So it has four inputs for the binary input. That's a zero or a one. And if I press these buttons, starting at the first binary uh, input there, it becomes a one. So all zeros is nothing. So one, zero, zero, zero is one. And then zero, one, zero, zero is two. And then zero, zero, one, zero is four. And then zero, 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 one is eight. But we can combine these together. So let's say we wanted to have a nine. So we have our eight there. We just press uh, the first binary decimal to give ourselves a nine. Similarly, if we press, if we keep that one pressed and then press the second one, we get three. We can then switch over to another one, the number four and get five. So they're pretty simple to wire up. We've got our four, five, 11 here, or 45, 11. I'm not sure how people like to say it, but that's how I do. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple. So we've got our power. We've got a couple of these pins here that deal with the enable stuff and also one that deals with um, storage as well. So if it's going to store that data, um, that one's grounded out. If you set it to high, it will store the number that's in there. We've got our binary inputs down the side here, and then we've got our seven segment output here. I've drawn a little common cathode one here just so you can see what it's like. And each of those binary inputs is attached to a switch that's grounded as default and then goes high. So if we wanted to represent these numbers, we can use something like a truth table, um, or rather it's just a reference table. So we know that input A is the first binary number, B is the next, C is the next, and then D is the next after that. And they, rep they represent one, two, four, and eight. And from that, we can create all of our numbers. So zero would be zeros all the way along. I'm not gonna bother drawing that. Uh, so one would be that. Uh, two is is that there. But let's say we want to go and do something a little bit different. So we want something a bit higher. We want a nine. Uh, so that would be one, zero, zero, one. But you read it that way instead. Again, if we want seven, that would be zero, one, one, one. So they're really simple to use. Now, why would you use these as opposed to say a counter or a shift register or something else? Well, these can be used in a normal uh, sort of 4000 series setup where you've got some sort of uh, some gates that are addressing these or if you wanted to have a switch mode thing so that you switched when you switched to a certain mode it would display a certain number but you could use these with a microcontroller really easily just with four pins so you would just set them uh, high or low depending on what you wanted to appear. So they're pretty simple to set up and um, they're really more of an exercise really. I think you can get chips that are a bit more featureful these days to run these little seven segment displays, but they're just uh, fun to play with really.